Hello YouTube. It's Lucius here. It's a decent day here in Ohio. Right around 55 degrees. Sunny and warm enough for me to get out on the bike. I am currently riding a 2014 CBR 500 all black version. You can see I've only got about 667 miles on it right now. And uh, even though I just started doing this moto vlogging stuff, I am going to be switching bikes very soon. I think this Honda is very uh, fun to ride. And uh, no, it does great around town. It's okay on the highway. I mean, it'll definitely keep up with traffic just fine, and it can go faster than most traffic, but still not what I feel like is a good highway commuter. Luckily, I don't have to commute that often. But I have been dreaming about moving up to a larger bike for a while now. Specifically, the Yamaha FZ07, MT07, uh, as it is pretty much everywhere except for the U.S. Right now it's a Saturday, and hopefully by this coming Wednesday I'll be riding the new bike. Seeing that the prices of uh, CBR500 and the FZ07 are really pretty close. If they had the FZ07 out when I bought my Honda, I probably would have gone with the Yamaha right off the bat. I'm taking a little trip to the motorcycle dealer where I bought this bike and where I'm getting the new one. I had a service on this bike just earlier this week made the same trip but it was raining on me the whole time so my bike is actually the dirtiest it's ever been but uh, things I love about the Honda it's got super great fuel economy in fact uh, when I get a chance here I'll switch the uh, dial here where it'll show my current miles per gallon but I get probably about 50, 60 miles per gallon on this on average. I do not run the hell out of it because it was in break-in period until recently. And to be honest, I just don't expect too much out of it. I mean, it's a 500, so it'll beat out the 250s and 300s just fine. It's nowhere close to like a 600 Super Sport. I mean, it might have the same kind of look and styling, but... Uh, doesn't have that same uh, get up and go, it doesn't have that surge in power, you know, when you hit like 7,000 RPMs or anything like that. That's actually kind of one of my problems with the bike is uh, I feel like it looks a lot faster than it is and that sort of bothers me. Still, it's a very uh, comfortable seating position. I'm very upright as you can maybe tell by the video. I am not tucked over or anything like that. And uh, so it's very comfortable. You no, know, it still gives you confidence when you're leaning into a curve, and uh, unfortunately I don't have too many great roads here around my area in Ohio to uh, show you that. But I will only probably be on this bike maybe one or two more times before the trade-in, and then I will be vlogging with the FC07. Main things I like about that bike is uh, it's kind of similar gas mileage. I mean, it's not as good as the 500, of course, but it's still uh, a decent amount better than the 09, the uh, FC09, because uh, even though that can get like 50 miles a gallon, most people won't ever see that because that bike kind of begs to be ridden hard. The FC07, from what I hear, it's got a lot of torque. You now, it's very good low to mid-range torque. It kind of peters out a little bit towards the top end. But unless you're always, you know, hitting 120 plus, you know, why would you need that? You know, if you're mainly around town, canyon carving, things like that, that low end to mid-range torque is 
just what I'm looking for. And uh, just over a month, I'll be heading down to Tennessee and riding on Deals Gap and Blue Ridge Parkway and Cleve Diamondback and a couple other uh, fairly popular motorcycle routes. I will uh, definitely take the GoPro and vlog my time there. My brother will be meeting me there. He's got a, I believe, a 2003 SV650. Might even do a bike trade at one point so I can kind of get my thoughts on that bike. Last time we went down there, I was riding a 99 Honda Shadow 6, or sorry, he was riding a 99 Honda Shadow 600. And I had a 97 Honda CBR 600. That was the fastest bike I've ever owned that uh, would easily hit 150. I think I had it 155 once. At least that's what the speedometer said. <laughs> but uh, I'm a little bit older now. Definitely don't try to push as hard. I don't need to do 150 unless I'm on a track somewhere. And you know, who knows, maybe that'll be in my future down the road sometime. But no, I just want a bike that's gonna be fun around town and handle the highway okay and just be a very fun bike this the Honda is a great bike and it is what I consider refined to a fault it is very reliable good gas mileage very smooth handles well seating position is good and everything brakes are fine for its size it does everything very well nothing super great you know it doesn't blow me away in any aspect I'm uh, you know, 5'10", 220, so I'm not exactly uh, the lightest rider for this size bike. I personally do not think that this will get the front wheel up in the air. I mean, maybe under just the very perfect circumstances it might. But it hasn't even uh, hinted at that before for me. You know, the uh, SC07 is a different story. That thing likes to put the front wheel up in first and second gear and sometimes even in third. And I'm going to find that out for myself hopefully later this week. Granted, I'll be in the break-in period, so I'm not going to vlog it right away. But no, I'm very excited to be uh, switching out motorcycles here shortly. Uh, I've set a goal. The, uh, if you notice, I've got 670 miles on this right now, and that took a year, almost a year to do. I definitely didn't ride nearly as much as I thought I would, and uh, I'm definitely going to make a change this year. Getting a brand new bike right before a intense motorcycle trip, it's not always the best idea. And I really don't want to hit my five or 600 mile mark in need of service while I'm still on vacation. So I've set the goal to get that 500 miles in the next month. And then uh, I've already scheduled my service. I haven't even brought the bike home yet, but I already scheduled my service because the uh, service department here is already three weeks out in scheduling. They're a great dealer. My payments are actually uh, just about the same as they are on this, based on uh, you know, how things worked out, so I'm very happy. If you're looking for your very first motorcycle, I would say that uh, the CBR500 is an excellent choice. Any of the five Honda CB, CBR500s, uh, because they have three different models. They've got an X, an F, and an R. They're all basically the same, even though I believe it's the uh, X, I believe, that has uh, a little bit more travel suspension that's meant to handle off-road slightly better. But uh, very smooth throttle delivery. I mean, okay, I'm, I'll downshift a little bit, just so you can see. It'll get up and go, but it's not going to surprise you. It's not going to scare you. I 
like I said, even though it's only got a single disc rotor on the front, stopping is fine even with uh, my 220 pound uh, mass sitting on top of it. I forgot to turn on my Bluetooth. There we go. I love that. I'll have to do a review on this Bluetooth when I'm on the, uh, the trip next month. So I'll be uh, doing the communicator with my brother so we can talk back and forth while we're riding. That'll be a first. The first time out when we did this trip, uh, when you couldn't talk to each other when you're riding, it's it's not much different than riding by yourself. And I just think being able to talk, you know, it's going to add so much to the experience. It's 4.36. I'm not even sure how late the uh, dealers open on a Saturday. Hoping I get a little time to walk around there. dealer, Sohana, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki, and I think they're closed already. We can at least look at their hours for next time. Yeah, they're definitely closed. What are their hours? Saturday, 4 o'clock. All right. That's fine. How do we got out here? Well, it was a nice little trip down here, if nothing else. Let's see, if you really want to see just how well you can get on, that's why I was in second on this 500, here we go. take the highway back just so I can see what the sound quality is like on the uh, GoPro with this mic at highway speeds. I was doing the uh, clutchless uh, shifting there on that acceleration. This bike does it very easily. I've been on a bike where I couldn't do that. Now, so far, I've had a 99 Honda Shadow 600, a 97 Honda CBR 600. Amazing how different two bikes can be having the same engine displacement. And I've had a 79 
a Suzuki GS750. I bought that one in pretty much a non-running condition. And I uh, got it fixed up. Um, had a great sound to it. it you know, had a good strong pull. Had a it was very enjoyable to ride. Um, brakes were squeaky as hell. And I really just did not want to put any more money into it. So I ended up selling that and getting this one, which is the 2014 Honda CBR 500. And uh, like I said, in about four more days, should be on the 2015 Yamaha FC07. I've done some comparisons. There, this has about 50 horsepower on the Honda. Be getting about 74 or 75 on the FC. I'm doubling the torque. I believe this Honda only has like 25 torque, and the uh, FC has 50, and it gets it pretty down low, so and it keeps it. It's very flat torque curve, and it's actually lighter. That's the biggest surprise to me. And you're talking a bike that is. Um, no, much bigger displacement. I think it's a 489 technically versus a 8, uh, sorry, a 689. So they're talking that much more displacement and uh, bike's actually about 25 to 30 pounds lighter. And it's got dual brakes up, or dual disc uh, rotors up front. So it's got better stop and power. I hear that the suspension is a little soft on it, so I'm not really sure how it's going to handle uh, 220 pounds. I've never messed with preload on any bike because I just really don't know enough about it, so that's probably something I'm going to learn. I hope I closed my pockets. I did not. All it's still there. I cannot believe I didn't close my pockets. And obviously my phone's still there because I'm still connected to my Bluetooth. Next time I stop, I definitely have to close the other pocket. Just dropping my iPhone on the street here would not be uh, very fun. Learned enough about it, I'm gonna just pull over here. Clean gravel, yay. Gravel scares the hell out of me. I'm so afraid of dropping my bike. Yep, this pocket's open too. Well, that's one thing I can say about the uh, Tourmaster jacket. Even with the pockets unzipped, my stuff didn't fall out. Okay. Let's see, how am I gonna go back around here? Any luck, this road will just take me right back out. St. Elmo. Hi, I'm just sitting there on your phone with a stop sign. That's cool. All right, oh man. If I wasn't sitting on gravel, I would have kind of taken off there. That's definitely a good opening. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. He's not even trying to pull over, what the heck? Actually, I don't think he's pulling over that person. He's just trying to get through. Which lane are you in, guy? I mean, you're like on the line. Wow. That's 
crazy maneuver right there. Back out into the street. There's a four lane road here and he backs out into the street. Definitely a beautiful day. I mean, I was hoping it would be a little warmer. I'm sort of getting used to it. 55 degrees in Ohio. Feels warm compared to what it was, so police are definitely out. Yeah, I'm being a good boy. So yeah, this is a pretty new channel for me. And uh, I know I'm not as crazy and entertaining as some of the other bloggers out there but I hope you know if you uh, enjoy my writing what I talk about have any questions or comments on the uh, bike and Ohio and other bikes I've owned or any of the gear I'm using don't uh, hesitate to uh, put it in the comments and I will respond I will uh, eventually be putting up new videos every week. One time I might not put up the videos if I just have a whole week where I can't ride. And in Ohio, that's very possible. I'm doing about 60 now, almost. I'm not sure how well you can still hear me. I mean, I hear a lot of wind. It's actually pretty quiet inside the helmet for the microphone. We'll have to see. I nicknamed this motorcycle Raven after the Teen Titans character. Not Teen Titans Go, because that sucks.
be uh, about 10 degrees warmer, so I look forward to that.